Hi, a WebSync demonstration. So I have the gateway software running on this Raspberry Pi with this uh, sensor at accessory on top of it. So there are a couple of sensors like uh, the temperature here and I have also this matrix LED where I can change uh, some properties. So if I change the message properties, it will update uh, lib graphic meetings 2020. But what I really want to show you is that uh, how to use this uh, smart uh, light bulb. So it's a Bluetooth uh, mesh uh, one. So I had to make uh, an adapter, it's running here. So if I press on the add button, then it will be scanned. And uh, on discovery, I can decide to add the new thing, so confirm it, and it will appear just below. So if I press on the shortcut button, it can be turned on. And I can change also, some of its properties like uh, the brightness level and of course uh, the color. Let's go to green. But uh, what I really want to show you is that I made a, a VR application here which is uh, connected uh, to the device also and when I'm changing one of its property it's updated at the same time. So it's a VR application you can view it on a VR headset like this one, but if you don't have one, you can try with your mobile phone on this kind of uh, card box device when you put the phone and see the screen um, from it. But uh, what I suggest to you is that uh, from the developer, from a develop from a regular browser, if you go to the developer mode using this uh, web XR device simulator, and you go to the developer panel. And if you go back to the WebXR, you can select uh, the kind of device you have, like uh, the card box, which is a minimal one. And if I'm changing the position, the orientation of this uh, headset, the, the view will be updated at the same time. If you have another device like HTC Vive, if you press on a different uh, button, it will trigger events. That can be useful if you want to create an interactive application. Um, now what I want to, um, what I can show you also is that um, if I'm uh, turning off the light, it's getting back to gray now. Let me show you the source code. So it's a VR, it's an A-frame uh, scene. So it's an HTML5 document and you can add this uh, A-scene and this A-frame primit primitive like uh, the sphere and the cylinder, which is the bottom of the light bulb. But the most important one is a sphere when you have a color and those two keywords, which are web component included here and here, which are bindings, uh, the um, IoT um, values to the actual XR things. So if you go back to the properties, that's pretty easy. So you have different, uh, for each property, there is a switch method on each property. So if I press on the on button, for instance, it will uh, display white or gray. So if I go back to my application, so it's on white and now it's gray because I have coded uh, the value here. And if I'm changing the color value, it's exactly the same because the schema are aligned. And for the brightness, I'm just changing the roughness of the material. That's pretty same. Uh, if you want to check the source code, it's all open source on GitHub. So if you get this uh, project and you can submit uh, issue or patches. And I will explain more detail at uh, Libgraphic Meetings uh, 2020. Uh, yeah, that's it.